This is the Artex Fusible Stabilizer. It's 60 inches wide and it's a polyester lightweight material that has a fusible side and you can sort of hear me scratching the side that has a fusible. The other side doesn't. <laughs> it's a little pebbly surface. And you use this to add extra uh, body to thin fabrics. It helps to prevent fraying and makes fabrics more stable for sewing. You can uh, find the samples of our colors in our fabric sample card, which is free. Just call and ask customer service for our fabric sample card. And the four colors are white, ivory, which I'm using here today. There's a tan and also black. And you'll want to pick the color that matches the face fabric most closely. Keep in mind that if light is shining through, if you are using this on a window treatment, you probably want to use white unless you have a really dark background fabric. It's available on partial rolls of 18 yards or full ro rolls of about 54 yards. I'm going to stabilize this silk fabric for welt cord. This is one of my favorite uses for the stabilizer. This is a very thin silk and I've got the ivory on the work table fusible side up. You don't want to make the mistake of having a fusible side down and then ironing it to the work table. So just run your fingernails over it to make sure you've got the pebble side up and then place the fabric down. And I've cut a strip of the stabilizer wide enough for the amount of welt cord cuts that I need. I'm not going to stabilize the whole piece. You do want to stabilize before you cut. In other words, I wouldn't cut a lot of little narrow strips of the stabilizer and then try to iron it on to the little pieces of welt cord. I'm going to use a steam iron. It's always a good idea to test your fabrics first to make sure you can use heat and steam with them. And this works fine with the silk fabric. I'm going to be careful when I get to the edges where the stabilizer is exposed not to hit it with the iron because I don't want it to stick to the iron. And those little adhesive mini dots melt as you steam across. The stabilizers are a great thing to use if you're doing pieced pillow fronts. Add a piece of this on the back, it'll seal all of, all of the raw cut edges. If you're making cushions from a thin fabric, this will add more body so the cushion seats will last longer. It's a great thing to add when you're making covered buttons. If it's a thin fabric or a fabric that frays, it'll help prevent seeing the metal from the button form from showing through. Okay, I have that in place. I'm going to make a first cut because I didn't iron all the way to the edge because I wanted to be careful not to catch the stabilizer. I want to make sure that my cut edges are ironed down. This is a waste piece, so that'll just go in the trash. Whoops, there we go. And then I'm going to cut the rest of the weld cord. And I'm going to do a little trick for cutting weld cord, especially on thin fabrics. And that's folding it into a smaller package. So I'm going to fold it over, and this is on the bias, and then fold it again. And I'm going to start from this side. And you would measure the size uh, cuts that you need. I'm just going to whack it out here. But when you cut your bias, and on something like this silk, you can see how silk frays. It frays really bad. See all these little frayed edges? That would really be a mess when you're making welt cord and piecing the bias pieces together and sewing. You could actually end up with very little left to sew after it all frayed. But the stabilizer is ironed on. You get a really nice, clean cut edge. When you stretch and manipulate the fabric, you don't have any fraying. And it makes a very clean welt cord. You don't see any of the discoloration or lumpy areas or twist of the cord that you're covering. And it just makes it easier to work with. I think you'll love this product and all the colors and find a lot of uses for it in the workroom.